Hello everyone, welcome back to more Dark Souls 2. We are here at the bonfire in the Forest of Fallen Giants. But I think right now I'm going to um, go back, a little further back in the game. So this is a pretty big area I think. I think I'm progressing in the game and I think I have some loose ends a little bit earlier on. So I've noticed that my health, my max health, keeps getting a little bit lower um, each time I die. So also I read the manual for this game, the actual game manual. I figure I'm still playing blind because it came with the game and you're supposed to read it. it. Didn't really give me much info at all. I was looking for info on stats. But uh, didn't help there. The only thing it did confirm is that human effigies will restore your humanity. And I assume get your... Oh yeah, yeah, it did say get your um, health back up. Get your max health back up. <clears throat> okay, so since we can warp... Let's just go... I also only talk to those Fury people uh, once each, and I think in games like this you need to try talking to people repeatedly. So that's what we're going to do first. Let's go talk to them. Now, go along, go along. Well, that was pointless. My name is Lynn, the old women who once fire keepers. I am here to look after them. It is what my mother did, and her mother before her, and so on. The old women were keeping, but now the fire shows signs of fading. And the kingdom is beset by hollows. The old women are sisters. I am told there was a fourth. Long ago, fire keepers were commonplace. But now they are lost, scattered to the winds. The old women are but Okay, so these ladies were fire keepers? And there's a fourth one? Pose. Okay, what else do I need to do? I am keeping notes on this. So hopefully I don't run around too much uh, not knowing where the hell I'm going or doing. Um, also noticed re-watching the videos that I got a torch. thing I didn't see that I picked up. Um, that looks like a torch. Five minutes? Alright, now how to equip. Okay, so I picked up a torch and I have no idea how to use it. Hmm. I really want to kind of figure that out so I can light those places and things betwixt. 
maybe that does something. I don't see a torch anywhere. But I know I picked one up. Hmm. Kind of got me stumped. We're gonna have to save that for another time. I also wanted to go kill these dogs over here because I didn't ever actually kill any of them. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do that now since I tried punching them. I didn't do very good. Maybe a sword will work a little better. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go grab this treasure. I died to a disgusting beast in a cell up here last time. But there was an item next to him that I didn't get. I was too busy dying. But this time... dead end where that one guy is sitting waiting for the statue to move. Is it up here? I think I'm going the right way. Yeah. Somebody just called me a fatty.
what is up with that delay on running? Like I run, I stop, and I can't run again. Can there? All right, come on now. Go over here. Talisman. I'm guessing I know what that does already. Kill this guy too for no reason. Thought I was gonna get a backstab. Instead, I'm probably gonna die. Come on. Oh. That was close. Very, very close. Alright, so if my stamina runs all the way out, stop running, I can't start running again until... Huh. Okay, if I just pause, that's if I run out of stamina. What's next? Let's see. Okay, next is checking out Majula. Or whatever it is. Shut up, Monster Man. Um, yeah, I got my chat set up and everything. That's nice. Talk to you fools. Distracting me, really. Okay. I want to go check out that monument over there. I think I'll do that first. Ooh, and a bonfire, too. This is the way to the Forest of Fallen Giants that I went before. Yeah, my chat is fancy. Hopefully there'll be some people to talk to in there occasionally. It's just gonna say, welcome motherfuckers on there all the time. Nothing else. <laughs> oh no! Wait. The next one. Or merely a pawn of fate. Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side. Till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your dream. Man, I hope it's an SS flask. Yes! Oh! Finally! Go ah. on to see the king. <sighs> he who made Dram Lake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendry. We may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. Yay! Get oh god, I thought it was stuck. Bear of the curse, for misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pious. Alright, so, first thing I really need to do is fix the chat. <clears throat> but I haven't been looking at... Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. That's way better. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The 
four endowed with an immense soul. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me, so that hope will not fade away. All right, force. There's my mission. I've got my mission finally. Well, this isn't actually, this is like actually the beginning of the game. I just ran past it and went somewhere else. Seek the king. Seek the king. Yeah, my mission, I need four souls. As it has so many others. Four giant souls, and then come back to this lady. I don't have an assistant. Level up. Awesome. Okay, what the hell do I want now? So my vigor wouldn't increase anything but my petrify resistance? What about endurance? Just my stamina and HP. Vitality, equip load. Attunement gives me slots, cast speed, curse resistance, and agility. Strength gives me defense, attack strength, and hit points. Dex gives me dex, poison bonus, bleed bonus. And ADP. Adaptability, adaptation, something. Bunch of resistances and poise. Intelligence, cast speed, magic fire dark bonus, dark magic fire defense. And faith, a bunch of fire defense, and bonuses, and yada yada. Looks like everything makes my hit points go up. That's good. So what do we need? We need endurance. Vitality. And that's it for now. So I know I'm going to need a lot of equipment load stuff. I know I'm going to need um, hit points. Of the curse. Seek souls. All right, yes, let's go seek some souls. Soul. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it. Try jumping in visions of keys. So I'm guessing all these blood stains over here are people that read the message, believed it, and jumped off. <laughs> That's awesome. Hiding place. See more people jumping off the cliff. Come on. Get your run and start. <laughs> oh, people are idiots. What would really be funny though is if there is actually uh, something down there you can just jump off and live. That would be funny as well. Oh, who's this? You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent. <laughs> no, I'm not the smell of a smell of fate. fate. Well, I did just light a bonfire. Huh? Is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Dread Lake these days. There are very few places like that. Your mom might be down there. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything 
and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing here. That's not true at all. Boo! There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. So this is crestfallen soldier. Do you know much about <gasps> souls? You gonna teach me? Even I am not certain that. I am told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything in living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? No. To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. Again, four guys with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. That's what I figured. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you want to just get it right now. <laughs> like I have. <laughs> Is this the same freaking guy or what? Crestfallen Warrior and Dark Souls 1. The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. Cool. Hope so. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? I might. When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Hmm. Not at the moment. I see. If you ever require it, hopefully he will, will still uh, offer it to me later. I will stay here and pray for your safety. You know what, fuck it. It suits me just. It will go on you. Ah. May you find peace on your journey. I just Can you just teach me one? May you find peace on your journey. Yeah, I think I am actually going to join the Blue Man Group. Ooh. Ooh. That's a... <laughs> so many times people died, I guess? 282 million fucking deaths. Ew. Alright. Blue Sentinels. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. Yep, that been there already. That's a great fort. Little bit remains. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back 
No, I'll come back. May you find peace on your journey. Okay, let's check out what we got. Blue seal? Is that a key item? Oh, a ring. Ring of the Way of Blue Covenant increases HP slightly. The Way of Blue is not a developed religion. It is a humble prayer that spread naturally amongst those seeking help. When apostles of blue are invaded by dark spirits, they can receive assistance from masters of other worlds. That's what I figured. So if I get invaded, it's going to call in other people to warp in and help me. Yep. Still no inner Londo, though. Fog wall ahead? I don't think so. I think that's a cliff. Treasure. Soul of a nameless soldier and life gems. Do I have. Where are my Estes? Okay, I have one. Is that all I'm getting or what? all the boxes. I can definitely get a couple more levels up with this. More endurance. I'm really not all that concerned with poison resistance, bleed resistance, curse resistance, all that kind of stuff. Poise I do like. Um, it looks like endurance and ADP are the only ones that give me poise. Probably not much, boys. Right, now that gives me 32. Okay, so Vigor gives me a lot of hit points. Everything else gives me just a little bit, it looks like. Take a lot of hit points. And we like having a lot of stamina, so there we go. <laughs> What's up, Jax? <laughs> Maybe I will uh, stream Octo Dead sometime. Or actually, we're going to stream him playing Octo Dead rather than me. Holly plays Octodad. <laughs> Bloodstains in this area are hilarious. It's just people jumping off the cliff. 
<laughs> Alright, let's see if this gives me more Estus. Nope. One. Maybe I need those Estus shards for um, to get more Estus rather than increasing the strength of Estus. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here. See if it's vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. Fine. Just for you. There goes my max health down a little bit. <laughs> Even more. <laughs> I'm so smart. good since I have one freaking Estus flask. Ooh, what's this? Check that out in a minute. And what's that? Hmm, a bunch of ways to go. Check out these houses first. Should I jump? Oh, I'm jumping. Wait a minute. The fuck? It's a kitty. Oh, I'm dead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. It's always oh, yes. time for kitties. You may call me Shakwa. I'm Shantae. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> I know. by Roy the Explorer. Hear the inner voices of surrounding foes. Useful for locating hidden enemies and perhaps for a few other things as well. Hmm. Interesting. Name engraved ring. A special ring that can be engraved with the name of a god. It becomes easier to connect to worlds of players who choose the same god. There are countless vestiges of long lost gods in the ruins of Dranglik. Dranglik. Whatever. Or perhaps they are the very same gods as ours only known by different names. Red Eye Ring, a cursed ring depicting a demon eye, becomes easier to be detected by enemies. 
If it is tranquility that you seek, then you should never have left your home. If you seek strife, then fair enough, but no need to overdo it. I want that ring. Silver Cat Ring. Silver Ring depicting a leaping feline reduces damage from falling. Legend has it that when cats grow old, a force grows within them and they are reborn as something new. I might need that to jump down the well. Ring of Evil Eye. Modest but inexplicably disturbing ring. Absorbs HP for each enemy defeated. Peer too closely at the rare stone that forms the eye of this ring and things that writhe and stir may come into focus. Bones, prism stones, worn skulls, and worn talismans. And that's all. I really want that eye. That, that eye, that ring. I want enemies just to try to chase me down. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> This place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Are you going to see the old ones? I think I already did. Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, nothing like yourself. Of course not. For you have a most pleasant scent that grows nicer with each passing day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Pretty sexy yourself. Nothing suited you, I presume. Sorry, kitty. We gotta break your stuff. Die! I would swing at this table, but I might hit the cat. <laughs> stay in there. Oh shit! Those things have a lot of health. I'm gonna get killed by potbelly pigs. Oh, whatever. Screw you guys. Stay over there. God damn it. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so now I think I can get another Estus fast, maybe? Oh, there's my souls over there too. What up, Royal Light? I'm new to Twitch too. This is the second day I've been streaming. Oh. Oh, god damn it. Blacksmith, eh? 
try stabbing this guy? Uh, oh, uh, hello there. W welcome, welcome to my to shop. shop. I'm Morley. <sighs> oh, I they're coming for me, aren't they? Oh, God damn it! Oh, sorry, I Please do have a look at my west. I could really use the business. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> if you could be so <laughs> A minute! I'll come back! I'm gonna run away from the pot belly pigs. Hold on. What about this? Can I close the door? No? There's no door. Damn it. That was great. Ah! Alright. Oh! Neverwinter Nights. I've never played either of those games, actually. I played Dead Rising 1, but I don't really like it. People tell me 2 and 3 are better. I think I need that silver cat ring to survive this, or I can roll when I land, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna try it anyway. No! No! Gotta buy the ring. Or have my health. I can kill the pigs, but it take like 15 hits each or something. It's a tiny little bit of health off of them. Those piggies are too tough for me. Oh, hello again. Uh, I hope you find something of use. All right. Iron Parma. Small shield. Shield. This one does not have parry. Armor. Nice. Gloves worn by the Vulgan Falconers. Domestic Vulgan soldiers are infamously timid, so it's no wonder that their fierce band of mercenary falconers, this fierce band, was hired to compensate. In practice, they serve as bodyguards for the affluent elite, and they serve well, such that nobody dares scrutinize their backgrounds. Alright, we'll come back here and get some stuff. I have some souls. From Vogel. Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Very competitive, of course. And you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. It's been years since then, and I've, <laughs> I've made very little headway. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down, dying. It's t terrible for business, really. I'm gonna get a. This is this particular one is gonna be a Dex build. Stored inputs. Don't like them. see that I was trying to touch the thing it's not a mimic is it <laughs> oh, I'm gonna look. Dang it. what did I get Tight nut shot, okay. Let's 
So if you're the blacksmith, will you upgrade my stuff? You're the armorer. Well, I, 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 I did, did I see, see you again. again. Oh well. Moving on. Alright, this is back the way I came. So I don't think there's anything else in the town. <clears throat> Where's this this place over here? Piggies. <laughs> Terrified of the piggies. Okay, so now we have two Estes flasks. That's cool. Back to the forest of fallen giants, I believe. That's what I need to be doing. I can just warp there. Oh, I'll be right back. different bonfires in the same areas which is good rather than just one bonfire per area another merchant too bad I don't have any souls Boots worn by merchants from Lanifer. Lanifer. Lanifer is the farthest land of the south and follows a strict edict of isolationism. The rare visitor from Lanifer is always a little odd. Got human effigies versus Halloween. Life gems, amber herbs, fire bombs, witching arms, throwing knives. Bright bug. Tiny bug that produces light. Bright bugs are said to come for the dead and are found in the marshlands leading to the undead crypt. 
By ingesting a bright bug just before death, the moment at which they glow most brightly, one obtains great power for a short time. Often used a lot, utilized as a last resort for adventurers who have lost their way, as no effect in other worlds or for phantoms. Okay, so that, uh, 2,000 bucks a piece, though. Pharaoh's Lockstone. Stone activating a creation of Pharaoh's the Vagabond. Pharaoh's the Vagabond was the legend who wandered the lands, creating contraptions to help those in sincere and dire need. The scope of his travels was so wide that Pharaoh's has been mistakenly credited with many inventions that were crafted by others. That's very interesting, and I want one of those. Ah, there's the key. I gotta come back here and get that. Do that real quick. Soon. Soul arrow and heal. As soon as I have a thousand bucks, I'm right back here and activating that one blacksmith. There's a way down. Let's see what's there. Blocking didn't work that time. I hate that I can't slide down ladders in this freaking game. Oh, there we can! Just can't press it. Hold it. There! Ha! Oh, shit! Oh! 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 There might still be a sword in that guy's butt. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do this. it burn it I don't even know what happens if you use it locks invaders from beyond well, that sucks burning it means they can't invade me Okay, so let's try using one. At least I can buy them, huh? Humanity Restore. Alright, try this one more time. Look at these guys. Well, let's try it. I haven't played any Dark Souls online whatsoever, never summoned anyone, I've been invaded. I played offline on Dark Souls 1. So why not give this a shot? Oh, 
okay. Well, if this is the boss, I'm pretty much screwed. My one Estus. Two Estus. Whatever. Let's do it, lady! Oh, I guess it wasn't a boss. It's another area. Oh, I woke him up. <laughs> This is actually another player, Jay. Another shard, that's cool. Nothing else up here? Oh! Adventuring. I 
hearing other people. Yes, you can do jump attacks as well as uh, plunging attacks. Try dashing and then door. Not sure if I believe that. I believe I'm alive at the moment. Attack those barrels. I think they might blow up. Okay, I know where this is. Oh shit. Those coming eventually. Now, 
see if I can recover. The way to get there was... Shit, I'm just begging for death now. Life gems are finite. That's this flask refill, but you can only get as many of them as you have as you find shards. I think I got one more shard though, so we're gonna go run over there and grab another one. Folks.